Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about makeup brushes for beginners. This video is going to be your one-stop solution to find out just the five kind of basic brushes that you would need to do your entire face. Now, I've made sure that all of the brushes that I show here are multi-purpose so that you don't have to spend and invest on a lot of different kinds of brushes and I have just broken it down to the most basic ones. Before we jump into the makeup brush, which I will in a moment I wanted to touch upon a few important things that you need to keep in mind if you are a beginner and if this is the first time you're buying makeup brushes or you're investing in makeup brushes so your tools will make or break your makeup look so it's very important to invest in products that have good quality and that has a good longevity so that's why in this video i will be sharing brushes that are mid-range they're not too inexpensive and they're not too expensive and these just do the job right if you're a beginner it's going to work really well for you and these are brushes that i actually use every single day so i really wanted this video to come from personal experience and i really want this video to be helpful so let's start with the first brush the first brush that you should invest in is a foundation brush now for that you can take a flat brush or a buffing brush like this so with this you can apply your primer or your moisturizer all over your face and then with this you can even blend your foundation the bristles in this is so good it's just the right amount of density and because the size of the brush is so perfect it is actually great to contour you can use liquid contour cream contour or even powder products and you can also powder your face using this brush so you can just go ahead and take a little bit of the powder and buff it all over your face or wherever you want to and you can also apply your blush using this just make sure whenever you're using the same brush to go ahead and remove any of the excess product onto a clean tissue so that you know you're not messing up your makeup the next brush would be a powder brush this is the real techniques setting brush and the reason why I'm suggesting this brush is because of the size now one thing that I really wanted to touch upon with makeup brushes is the size the size of the brush is very important so the bigger the brush the more the products and the more the surface area so depending on the kind of face that you have buy a brush that matches your face you know if you buy a brush that is too big to contour your face it's going to deposit the product um way more than you need to apply the product right so if you if it were like a bigger contour brush then your contour is going to end up looking really muddy but then if you use a small tapered brush like this you can just really apply and concentrate the product exactly where you want it to be so a small setting brush like this is again very multi-purpose because you can use this to just set uh, your base this is actually a powder brush which is why it's called their setting brush uh, so you can apply that underneath your eyes it's also the right size to apply on top of your eyelids and also everywhere else that you kind of powder your face and you can also use it to apply your blush the next brush is actually something that is the most important even if you don't end up buying any other brush that i recommend here i want you to have blending brushes now i have two options for you the first one is from back this is their 142 brush now this is a fluffy brush um, and it has a curved edge so that really helps in blending your eyeshadow and then uh, we also have this one from pro arte this is the pe20 brush this this is a slightly bigger and more fluffier brush than the back one and um, this again you can use to blend your eyeshadow you can also use your blending brushes to blend concealer underneath your eyes and you can again use the blending brush to apply powder underneath your eyes to set the concealer you can again use the blending brush uh, to contour your 
nose it's going to be perfect for that and I think blending brushes are the perfect size to apply highlighter like powder highlighter would apply so well using this blending brush even with blending brushes size really matters and I wanted to show you an option for a blending brush which is smaller and skinnier so this way if you have really small eyes if you have very hooded eyes bigger brushes like this will deposit the product everywhere you know it's going to end up looking really murky so if you have smaller eyes and you need to work with lesser amount of product you need to work with smaller brushes this is the pack 126 brush and this is the perfect shape and size if you have small eyelids and you need to diffuse and blend your eyeshadow the next brush that you need to have is a flat eyeshadow brush okay so again these are very very versatile brushes and I'm going to show you two different kinds the first one is the pack 289 brush and this is honestly one of my most used brushes uh, the reason why I love this is because it's flat so you can really deposit the color be it a matte eyeshadow or a metallic eyeshadow and it comes with a fluffy edge and with that fluffy edge you can go ahead and blend so it works as both a flat brush and a blending brush you can also use the same brush to apply color underneath on your lower lash line it just works really well and actually this is one of the best brushes to contour your nose with the next option is the back 384 brush now this is again a flat brush and if you've noticed how it's different it is denser it is sturdier and it is skinnier than the previous flat brush that I showed you skinny brush like this will really help in applying say concealer or applying any metallic shades or foils or glitter in this video I'm showing you how you can apply glitter using a flat brush like this and lastly eyeliner brushes I think eyeliner brushes are so important especially if you want precision and if you're doing like a lot of liners or precision work then liner brushes are going to be your best friend this one is from Pro Arte this is their AB34 winged eyeliner brush I love angled brushes again these are super versatile um, you can use this to of course uh, draw winged eyeliner if you use liquid eyeliner then you don't really need uh, a liner brush because you know you can use it uh, with just the liquid liner uh, but if you do use gel liners or if you use powders to make winged eyeliner then this angle brush is going to be your best friend you can even use the angle brush to fill in your eyebrows and if you wish to have something even more versatile then you can go for a brush like this which comes with an angled brush and also a spoolie you can use the angled side to fill in your eyebrows using powder or pomade and you can also use the angled brush to create a winged eyeliner another kind of liner brushes are these ones these are super small and they're like pencil brushes this is the Pro Arte PE30 very thin and they really help with precision um, when you want like really thin and you want like a lot of control over your liner then these small liner brushes really help you can also buy them from any art supply store painting brushes are super inexpensive and you can definitely use these kind of brushes to draw your liner and this last one is completely optional uh, but I really wanted to recommend a smudger brush like a small brush uh, this is the pack 260 pencil brush and you can use a brush like this to smudge your lower lash line or to apply color onto your inner corner because using fingers is really difficult you know I know a lot of people like to use fingers especially like beginners but using fingers for inner corner is very difficult so if you are one of those then please definitely invest in a pencil brush so you can not only use that to apply color on the inner corner but also smudge out your coal or smudge out whatever color you're wearing on your lower lash line lastly you need a good makeup sponge with this you can literally do your entire 
base you can use this to apply primer you can use this to apply your foundation concealer you can set your base with powder using a sponge and you can also apply your liquid highlighter your blush you can do so much with just a sponge but definitely when you are looking for a sponge go for something that isn't too porous something that is very very soft and I love this YBB one I know there are a lot of different kinds of uh, sponges available but I just love the YBP sponge I don't think I like any other sponge as much as I like this one because this one just works the best it's better than the beauty blender it's better than anything I've ever tried Huh, so that's everything I really really wanted this video to be very informative I wanted this to be very educational and I really wanted to help you guys pick the right brushes because I know uh, the difference that it can make and I'm going to link everything that I have uh, mentioned in this video in the description box just so that you guys can go check it out yourself and yeah that's everything for this video thank you so much for watching if this was helpful then please make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos it will really really motivate me to make more helpful videos like this in the future and I am very very excited about this September series as well I am loving that you guys are loving it I am like just going through all of the comments and I'm enjoying making the vlogs and everything myself uh, the series will go on till my birthday which is on the 26th of September and I will be revealing something extra extra special so please make sure that you stay tuned and I will see you in tomorrow's video bye